For several hours on Wednesday, a member of Congress was among the thousands stranded by Hurricane Harvey. Texas Representative Brian Babin was trapped in his home by floodwaters. He joins us now on the phone from Woodville, Texas. Uh, Congressman, uh, first of all, tell us how you and your family are doing. Are you safe? And what are conditions like where you are right now? Oh, it's uh, the sun shining today for the first time in a very uh, a long, long week. And I was never in any danger. That was, uh, we had water that was blocking our exit. We couldn't get out. Uh, you know, I mentioned that as soon as we got water receding, that I would be able to, to, to leave. And that's exactly what happened. It took about four or five hours. <clears throat> and I was out uh, visiting some of our shelters and uh, some of our uh, emergency operations centers. And I know you. We're good. You're good. We're glad there's to a hear lot that. More Yes, ma'am. And there's uh, we have a lot a lot of folks across this district that dealt with a lot worse than I did. Take my word for it. Well, you spent the day meeting with first responders. What kind of aid and recovery efforts are currently underway there? Oh, uh, well, we've got people coming in. Uh, Texans are helping Texans in a way that I've, uh, I've never seen before. And uh, we're noted for uh, taking care of our neighbors here. We've got folks from coming in from Louisiana, just just loads of them, hundreds of boat teams, the Cajun Navy. Uh, some of my uh, uh, colleagues in the House of Representatives over there have done a tremendous amount of uh, good for the state of Texas, uh, even though they represent uh, Louisiana, like uh, my friend uh, Congressman Garrett Graves. Uh, there's just a lot of things going on. Uh, my whole district, uh, which is nine counties, Every square inch received between 24 and 50 inches of rain. And I'm, uh, I've seen a lot of storms in my life. I was born and raised down here in hurricane country. Mm -hmm. Never seen a storm like this before. It covers 33 counties. Uh, and it's just an amazing uh, thing to see. And it's going to take a long time to, to uh, build this back. But as you say, right now we're interested in and saving lives and getting people out who are, who are truly trapped and in a, in a bad way. What would you say, Congressman, are sort of the most pressing challenges in the near term that lie ahead for your district? Well, it's going to be hard to assess until we get the water waters to recede and we can, uh, then we can take an appraisal of everything that's that's damaged. We'll get FEMA in here. Of course, FEMA's already in here in many of my counties. Uh, and then we can uh, we can start having people become uh, get reimbursed. They're, they're they're signing up right and left with FEMA. Uh, and, but the, the main thing is right now, and that is just maintaining life, uh, making people and uh, taking them to safe uh, shelters. And that's where we out we're out of the district right now in ja in uh, Jasper County, uh, visiting some shelters and headed down. Uh, uh, down south uh, towards Beaumont and Orange, and uh, we're going to check some, some areas out down there, either this evening or tomorrow. Well, Congressman, I had a chance to cover um, the aftermath of Superstorm Sandy and talk to folks who survived those storms but saw everything that they owned completely gone as a result of that, and there was a trauma there. I wonder what your message is to survivors there in your district. What do you say to some of these folks um, at this point when for them it may seem so incredibly hopeless well you know we went through hurricane ike in uh, 2008 and hurricane rita 2005 uh and uh, of course it wasn't near the, the large geographical area or the enormous population centers uh of houston at that in that at that point in time but uh we tell the same thing just keep your chin up uh be smart make good decisions uh, don't take any chances with your life or your or your family, uh, and uh, do the things you need to do uh, to uh, to to, to uh, see what you're going to uh, tell FEMA. Uh, make your appraisal, uh, sign up, go on the website, and uh, you know just just keep your head up, keep your faith. Uh, we're going to make it through this. It's going to take a, it'll take weeks, months, and maybe even years for a lot of people. Uh, but it's uh, we, we're we're going to get through this. We've done it before. Uh, this is Texans helping Texans, and uh, our neighbors are coming in, and and just uh, um, even my own staff was uh, many of them have been flooded out. They're scattered around these nine counties. Uh, 
Uh, and uh, we've been working around the clock, even so. Uh, and we're going to bring some of our staff down from Washington, D.C., uh, just in the next couple of days uh, so that we can help folks uh, uh, with FEMA and uh, insurance and, and some of their problems. And we've been able to uh, to uh, go all the way to the White House. We, I, I spoke with uh, Vice President Pence uh, this morning was set with uh, Secretary Mulvaney uh, yesterday afternoon of OMB uh, and also with Senator Cruz and many of my colleagues uh, about uh, a supplemental uh, uh, package uh, for storm uh, aid. Uh, as soon as we get back to Washington, we'll probably do that in, a, in, uh, in two bills. Uh, you know, FEMA's uh, got, got a kind of a deficit. Uh, so we're, we're going to replenish that so that we can help people. So that'll be your first order of business when Congress gets back to Washington next week. Absolutely. All right, Texas Congressman Brian Babin, thank you so much, Congressman. Our best to you and the citizens of your district. Thank you so much.